Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electrica. I really appreciate that. Now, the question is, is it possible to upgrade uh, your UPS 7 ampere hour battery to a bigger battery, okay? Like 60 ampere hours. Now, this is a car battery, okay? So, definitely, it is uh, pretty much possible. No problem. This battery is 12 volts. Uh, the difference <clears throat> between this battery and this one is the capacity, okay? This one, the capacity is 6 ampere hours. This is 7. Uh, all right? Now, before we go any further, uh, let us look at uh, first uh, the cones, okay? So, remember, this is a UPS, an interoperative power supply. Okay, it, it is meant to serve a short-term supply to the connected loads, all right, uh, before the, the power, the, the, the grid resumed, all right. So, meaning uh, it cannot, it's not something that's supposed to work for, you know, five hours, six hours, 24 hours. No, this device is not meant for that. It's only for short-term, all right. Even if you look at uh, this device critically here, you realize that uh, there are two parts here that can heat up during that operation. You have this transformer uh, which inverts and then you have these transistors here. Those are the parts that will get, uh, will have a lot of heat. Okay, and that's the reason why it will not be ideal, uh, this thing to work for longer hours. And the purpose of adding a bigger battery is for you to get more runtime, isn't it? All right. Uh, all right. Now, when you connect this big battery, it means that you've increased the runtime. So usually, this small battery will maybe uh, take you to 30 to an hour. Okay, if the battery is still okay, and also uh, the efficiency of the UPS is, you know, has not deteriorated much, because the efficiency here would be around 80 uh, to 90. It can't be 100. Okay, so because you have upgraded to this, it means that now this thing will work more. All right, so you have a transformer here which inverts, which now will heat up with no... Uh, any form of, of cooling because it's only cooled by ambient, okay? So you risk this transformer to uh, to burn, all right? Because the integrity of the insulation of the, the, the coil <coughs> will deteriorate. Secondly, these transistors also, they are not able, okay, to consistently hold for that longer time, all right? <coughs> All right, now the, the, the other cone also would be charging. This battery is supposed to charge. Remember, during the outage, you are drawing, uh, you know, power from this battery to back up your loads, your AC loads. All right, so that means that if the power resumes, this guy will have to charge this battery. But now, the charging capacity, because this is 700 ampere hours, we find that the charging capacity, the current required to charge this battery to the full capacity, this circuit here would not be able to provide that. Okay? So, that means that for you to be able to go around that problem, you need to introduce an external charger for this battery. So, that means that you may have a trickle charger or any other faster charger okay you connect here so that it can charge this battery okay for you because now the charging uh capability for ups it's rough, it cannot charge and uh, this battery to its full capacity uh all right so that's one now, secondly, you'll have also uh, to introduce, because we talked of these parts here to be very hot, reaching on an extent that it will burn. In fact, the UPS will shut down, okay, before uh, much time because uh, the temperature will rise, okay? This transformer, the temperature will rise, all right? And probably uh, some overload current, <coughs> and then it might shut 
not might but it will shut okay so you need uh, to get a cooling fan okay you need to get a cooling fan so that means that you if you don't have a fan you you have to buy a fan so you have bought the battery you have bought a fan all right to connect it here so that it can cool uh, both these transistors and this transformer well okay so what of course i realized if there is a significant uh, cooling on these two parts then it will work pretty much well okay and it can even work up to uh, five uh, i mean up to three hours okay maximum okay so the efficiency in working will be uh cooling this device uh, cooling this part here and then also supports the charging because if this battery doesn't charge or if you leave this to charge it will work for longer hours and then the charger will get spoiled okay and also the battery will, will under charge so you have to have that external charger so you see uh, it's not a plug and play all right but of course on the side of the pros uh the biggest one is to have uh, up, uh you know achieved the runtime uh above this okay this would have given you uh from maybe 40 minutes to three hours even 3.5 hours all right all right so let us see how uh how this whole thing works okay now what you have to do is uh because i have this wire this is six millimeter okay wire and then you get uh you have to find uh the this uh terminal uh connectors here okay so that you can you know uh have these wires connected and tighten firm okay so this wire of course you'll have to connect them to this because during uh when uh, this ups is drawing from the battery a lot of current uh here okay a lot of current will be drawn here so you need this wire to be big now imagine the load which you've connected here they are not uh, the ac load are not that taking a lot of current uh, that's why you see that even the cable here which supplies the ups has got almost uh, not even a two uh, millimeter okay you, it has like uh, around 1 1.5 1 1.6 uh, millimeter squared all right but because uh, we are drawing around 13 or 15 amps from this battery so definitely your cables has to be uh really really uh big and that is something that's going to happen for long hours okay all right now the thing the other thing you have to know is that uh this uh ups now exact this one the smaller ups it is rated at 650 uh volt ampere okay so the 650 if you uh, you know the 650 if you you know apply the power factor you'll get like a 520 watts and the 520 divided by the voltage now you'll get the current which is two uh, around two around 2.3 amps uh that 2.3 amps that's the maximum that this thing has to take okay but also you've seen that the current which is being drawn from the battery is greater way far greater than the current actual the actual current that supplies the what uh supplies the load okay so you find that he, for one amp which is being drawn here you see here will be multiple amps which are being drawn from this battery here okay all right now i've connected my load here which is uh, a pc okay it is a pc which is already con uh, connected now a pc and a monitor so that would draw uh probably around a pc would be around 1.8 and then uh, 1.6 for a monitor okay so basically that's around the uh that's enough around 2.3 <clears throat> or even up to 3 amps okay but still will be drawing uh much much more current so let us see how it operates and how much current would draw now if I look at my multimeter here, I will set this in current. Uh, I set this in current. The, 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 the voltage, the battery voltage is 12 volts. 
So I will set this in SC. Then I want to see how much we are drawing here. Okay, so at the moment, this is around uh, 0 0.7, not close to an amp. Okay. That is around uh, close to an amp. So let us see how much. And then let us take this. We have it in DC. And then we connect here. Okay. So, and, uh, and see. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to kill uh, power from this uh, inverter, uh, 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 this UPS, and then we see how that is affecting, okay, uh, the AC and the DC, all right? Okay, so if you look at uh, here, we have 11. We have... This is 11 that we are drawing here. And then, uh, let us see, that is zero. Let us see here. All right, that's around 0 0.4 amps. But we are drawing around uh, 12 amps from, from this battery, okay? So before rectification, uh, AC here is uh, 14, but of course that's... Uh, okay, wait that, it's about to shut down. The battery is not charged, okay? That's about 0 0.5. So I think you've seen, okay? So let me put back that. So I think you've seen how much we've been drawing from, from this battery. So imagine uh, drawing that amount of current consistently for, for, for like three hours, okay? You can imagine how much, uh, you know, energy loss which goes through this transformer. So definitely the transformer will have overheated, will heat up a lot. And then here, so uh, for this thing to, to work for you uh, pretty well, then you'll have to, to have a fan like this, uh, a bigger fan which is able to cool, hmm? uh, to cool, that heat off uh, significantly okay yeah but uh working the thing is okay it can work very well you can extend that one completely has no problem if your ups has got a cooling fan the better if no cooling fan you cannot use this thing without a cooling fan okay if no cooling fan definitely the thing is going to burn up you're just going to use it one time okay eh? It will deplete and then it will shut. It will serve you for those maybe two hours, but you find that all these things they will burn. Okay, so most crucial thing, uh, cool it. If you cool, you'll enjoy. Thank you very much uh, for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe uh, to like. Until next time, I'm out.